Welcome to another episode of the Mandatory Social Interaction Show. My name is Tim, uh, the host slash co-host with uh, co -host. Ben Burns. I'm the bro host. <laughs> and so we are playing Borderlands 2. And I think this is going to be our second episode. So our second edition, as it were. And so pretty much our, our whole goal is to have a low-key kind of podcasty sort of gameplay video where we can just kind of hang out and enjoy a game together and goof around and you know we're not playing it to be super awesome or amazing but we're you know we're having fun with it so mlg pro that's what i am i'm a pro mlg <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, borderlands 2 man i i never got very far in this game uh, as much hype as borderlands gets it's... It got a lot of hype, and I think that <laughs> I for sure. I never played the pre sequel, like the the. I have you know. the pre sequel, and I started it, and I really want to beat it because I heard that was really good. That was actually better than most than the rest of them, I guess. Mm -hmm. I heard it was really really good, and I also heard the uh, Telltale game was really good. So I don't know. I I need to. I, I think the universe is interesting, but. Then again, I feel like they try too hard to be edgy sometimes. I don't know. I, I get, I get kind of like, I get, I kind of cringe with some of the stuff, and I think the point is that, but I don't know if it's like some big meta joke or. or I, I what. think I really yeah. Don't know. I think it's a little <laughs> bit of both, where they uh, they definitely try and maybe they try too hard sometimes, but um, make it way over the top. For for the most part, I I do really enjoy a lot of the just stupid humor in this it's kind of like a south park episode sometimes yeah it is and speaking of south park i want to play the stick of truth sometimes soon. i bought that like two years ago and i have not actually played it yet uh, I, I hear it's only like 11 hours so it's not like it's super duper long you say only <laughs> well i mean but compared to regular rpgs that's oh yeah yeah nothing so for me that's actually manageable i might actually be able to do that and yeah I, I know I know time is time is always a, a, a tight crunch for sure, but I don't know. I just I think that I think it'll be worthwhile because the new one's coming out. They announced it at E three last oh, yeah. year and they came out with a trailer for it this year. I have not seen that trailer yet. I haven't either actually because I don't want to spoil anything that happened in the, happens in the first game. I oh, play the first game. So there's so, actually continuity. <laughs> Yeah, well, apparently, yeah, it's it's uh, it's of an immediate follow up to the first game. So. Huh? Yeah, it's the it's the um, fractured but whole truth. So it comes out <laughs> as like fractured butthole or whatever. Oh God. Yeah, it, that's totally their, their their thing. Oh yeah, no, I love <laughs> it South Park. It looks pretty good though. I mean, it looks the style is really consistent with the uh, South Park universe, and I think I'm glad that the technology is there that they can. They can legit just make it look like an episode. That looks exactly yeah. like an episode. Yeah, that's that's so great for them. And I bet you the engine, they could probably use the engine for um, recording episodes if they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Because I know that they um, they used to do all um, hand in Flash. Back oh, yeah. In the day, or, and, and, yeah, and then they um, finally created some tools around it. Um, I know The Simpsons actually started using uh, a new Adobe product that lets you animate uh stuff uh using like a camera and it records like when your mouth moves oh and wow we have to save cloud it'll trap. match the sync to your um the sync of the character's mouth to yours huh like you you, you feed it different sprites like different uh states yeah yeah for, for the different like um, mouth movements and it'll actually sync it like they did a they did an actual live episode a live portion of one of the simpsons episodes where people huh. called in and left uh, asked questions and um, Homer live answered them, which was really interesting. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. awesome, actually. It was pretty cool, and uh, the tech behind it's pretty rocking. Uh, yeah, it's, the, it's an Adobe product though. I don't remember what it's called, but it's one of the one of the new Adobe suite products. So that, it works 80% um, of the time. Right. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't perfect by any means, but for it being a fairly new thing, like I've mm -hmm. never. The only thing I've seen do that really are the. Um, there's a. a an app game thing on Steam that um, lets you be a character or whatever and matches your facial movements and stuff up with theirs. Huh. So, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, God, he's... he's ow! He's up your butt. He's all up his butt. But they, uh... It's, it's pretty cool. Like, the, the technology behind it is pretty awesome. It's called Face Rig. That's what it's called. 
Hmm. If you ever check it out, it's on Steam. And you can be like, a, you can make yourself an anime character and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know Furball with his deep voice and everything. Oh yeah. He means Furball for those who are interested. And look at the guy up. He is a voice actor. He's very talented and has a very roguish voice. Yeah, I'm jealous of his voice. voice. He has a great voice. Um, but uh, he actually has it. And he, <laughs> he made himself an ant, like a little anime girl. Oh my god. <laughs> his deep booming voice is coming out of this anime girl. And he's like, oh, send by. <laughs> Funniest <laughs> thing I think I've seen in a long time. I want to record that one of these days because <laughs> pretty great. <laughs> pretty good stuff i think the boss died up here yeah i picked up his eye I think, oh okay so. you got it already yeah i picked it up any good loot uh nope yeah <laughs> <laughs> not yet not this early on <clears throat> so um yeah three has come and gone though and um speaking of that i uh was there anything else you were excited about that came out of e3 like i wasn't too stoked about e3 this year they didn't really bring a whole lot to the table honestly i didn't follow it a whole lot it's like i enjoy watching the synapses afterwards but like yes. i don't really care who quote unquote one e3 no, and all that other there's crap there's no there's no winners that's just yeah. it is there's no there's no winning or losing there's there's good conferences and bad conferences that's the thing yeah because um, they all do a press conference and whoever's whoever's is the best you know there's no real best it's yeah just, was your conference good or was it bad and um <clears throat> This year, I had a lot of high hopes, and maybe I gave too many high hopes on <laughs> Bethesda. Um, they kind of disappointed me, because they were like, oh, look, it's going to be Elder Scrolls, but it's just a remaster of Skyrim. It's like, oh, come on, we've had a remastered version of Skyrim for... Yeah, ever for forever, PC, if you're on PC. It's so It was so disappointing. Here, to give his eye back? Yeah, I think so. Um, so I was really disappointed that they're just releasing an Xbox One PS4 version of that, and they're coming out with the card game. Uh, yeah, uh, for and, uh, Rent Tamriel or Legends or whatever. No, no, Gwent is oh, Gwent, the uh, yeah. card game by uh, CD Projekt Red, the Witcher right, right. is. And that um, was their big thing, too. I'm just like, man, this is really underwhelming. It was pretty underwhelming this year. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am um, much better. When I hear Bethesda, now I just want them to make another Doom. <laughs> well, I, I'm happy with the Doom we've got, man. It's well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, since the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now, I picked up uh, Wolf and the recent Wolfenstein, and yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to playing that. Oh, you haven't played it yet. The New Order. Is there, um, you know, is there anything else during this uh, Steam Sale you're going to get? Because I'm going to look at, like, co-op games. Oh, man. Um, oh, I picked up Super Time Force, which I... I have that, I think. Yeah, I... Isn't that a way forward game? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of another game. No, I don't think I have Super Time Force. I, I gotta yeah. look and see if I have that. That would be a fun one to play on this. Yeah, it's... it's. I'm, I'm interested in that game only because I had, like, an idea for basically exactly that same game, like, three years ago. And, um, <laughs> like, two months ago, I was like, oh, wait, this game exists already. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, maybe I should try it and see what it's like. Maybe... Yeah, Super Time Force, is that the one where it's, like, that competitive one where you get the orb to the other side? Um, I think so. I, I, okay. Um, what I think it is, is you actually control multiple people, but you only control one at a time, and if that person dies, then you, like, rewind time and play as a different person, and you're able to then save that other person's life if you killed the person that killed your other guy before. It's, like, this I'm whole... Of a yeah. Game. That sounds awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, like, I had this idea for a game. It was very similar, but um, I guess they beat me to the punch because I didn't know how to make games three years ago. Um, but It happens, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I, to be perfectly honest, I still might make that game because it looked like a lot of fun, and yeah. there's a lot of cool things you can do in that space that are, like, you know, it's not just one game. Like, Right. You could say, like, this game is, oh, this is just like Doom, so why should I play it? So, right. you know, all that other shit. But. Um, they did announce uh, the new Quake game. Um, oh, but yeah. If, if the, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just so on the fence because Unreal Tournament and Doom are where it's at for me. Um, yeah. In terms of multiplayer. Quake never, Quake is great. Quake is a trendsetter, and it was definitely in, in very impactful on um, the arena shooter genre. Um, mm -hmm. It was like the big one. But oh, yeah. I 
I never really got into Quake that much, and um, I was an Unreal Tournament guy. And, oh, I played uh, a I'm lot not, of Quake Three. I'm not that excited about a new Quake. I just, I'm not. Uh, it doesn't look like it does enough new to really entice me. Like, why would I not play new? Doom is a very arena shooter, and the new Unreal Tournament's coming out soon. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I'm always interested, and I'm glad that they're like rebooting these old franchises because there's so yes. many cool things they can do with them. Well, they let them die on the vine. A lot of them, like um, if you look at EA, they let um, when they bought Bullfrog, they let um, the theme games die, like Theme Hospital and Theme Park. Uh, oh, yeah, and those were amazing games, and they still hold up all right. I mean, they're simple by today's standards, but they hold up all right because there's not much like them. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where I just really wish they uh, uh, would would reboot game franchises. I don't have that much problem with as long as they handle them with respect, which is yeah. what Bethesda's been doing. Yeah. So Bethesda's done a really good job because the new Doom is incredible. Yeah. They did such a fine job with that. And uh, hey, Jinx is on Dirty Mom. I wonder if he's playing uh, on the that charity stream. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is uh, this is being recorded just after our last, our previous episode. If you're watching them in order, um, <laughs> which yeah, I'm still due to in. Oh boy. Oh, you've got like short hours. six hours. No, not less than that. Yeah. Yeah, about um, six hours. Five at this point. Oh right, because be, you're an yeah, hour ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm an hour ahead of you, so it's six my th or midnight my time, I think. Uh, I gotta double check the timings. It's either it's either midnight or one, but. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the graveyard shift for that. So, but back back on topic. To, oh, whatever. Uh, E3, man. I am. I'm just. Uh, I'm happy that Bethesda's doing what it's doing. So I'm not going to fault them for it, and I'm not going to say. Um, as long as Quake offers a lot to its players, I am not going to knock it. I'm mm -hmm. just going to. I will give credit where credit's due, and I'm quite happy that they are rebooting as many franchises as they are. Or they're not really rebooting them though; they're bringing them back. Yeah, it's it's like, almost more like a remix than a reboot. Like yeah, because they're... the Doom story is the same, um, pretty like, much. Yeah, I think. the um, Doom story has always been the same. Yeah, but the mult the the multiplayer and the um. What is that mode? The snap map is oh, so good. Man. I haven't so played good. the the snap map one yet. Um, yeah, it's there's co-op missions and um, there's all sorts of there's single player missions now. Like they upgraded it so people can create single player missions. I mean, it's incredible the stuff they've done with it. Huh? And it gives infinite replayability because you can build your own maps, add your own triggers, um, link. Um, uh, monsters and stuff to events and stuff like that. So wow. if somebody steps on a, a, a you know, like a, a trap or something, it, it spawns a whole bunch of bad guys. You know, that huh. sort of stuff. It's really cool. And they did a really cool job with it. And it's it really kind of sets the standard for what I'm hoping to see with the um, Unreal Tournament map editing tools. <clears throat> um, so I'm, I'm pretty hopeful for the future of arena shooters and, and shooters in general because <laughs> look at, looking at... Um, Battlefield 1, oh my gosh, man. Oh, have you seen Battlefield 1? I have seen a couple videos. They were pretty rad. Oh, it's going to be so wicked good, man. I'm so jazzed about it. Just the fact that we're finally seeing um, a new uh, a shooter cast in an era that's barely been explored by, by the... It's, it's Actually, I don't think it's ever been explored by AAAs. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I honestly don't know. I don't think it has. Not in recent memory, it was all World War Two. Yeah. And just looking at the intense insanity that it offers, I'm so excited. <laughs> like I watched I watched um they had Stone Mountain sixty four playing another like really big battlefield player guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember who it was, but Stone Mountain sixty four had like Snoop Dogg on his team and stuff. <laughs> it was hilarious. And Stone Mountain sixty four is really funny. If you've never seen him he did, he did a video where he was, um, his first real claim to uh, popularity was he did a video about, um, he's playing Battlefield 3. And uh, he's like, he's, he's doing it like super serious audio wise, but it's yeah. the funniest thing. He's like, he's like, uh, Roger, Roger. Oh, I have seen that. Off and, and then he's like, I'm hit. 
Mayday, Mayday, engine one out, engine two out. I'm going down, boys. Eject, eject, stuff like that. And oh my god, this is the funniest. And he, they actually asked him to lead the team of celebrities and other YouTubers, wow, and, uh, Twitch streamers, for that side. And um, he put up a vlog recently of his his journey, and he's got like all these videos uh, hanging out with Snoop and all that stuff. And it just was. I watched all their gameplay and. Oh, Ben, I, it, it blew my mind. I am so blown away by how fun it looks. I mean, it looks like a Battlefield game, which I love. I love the way Battle game, or battle, battle game, Battlefield plays. Mm -hmm. But um, add to that the um, just the, the insanity of World War II weapons where the clip is on top. Yeah. And, like, blocks your view. And, like, uh, like sniper rounds, like, uh, high explosive sniper rounds, like armor piercing. Um, limited fields of fields of view in your in your tanks and stuff like that. It's just so good, man. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. I, mean, I know I'm talking it up a lot because it could suck still. I mean, oh there's yeah. A good chance it could, and it, there's a I would say a fair chance that it will. Because <laughs> I mean it is it's it's uh to be fair it's it's an EA game. So and they, they really royally screwed up Star Wars Battlefront. I mean how do you screw that up? It's a license to print money. I'm down. Yeah. I'm gonna move to the back of this, so... That's okay. I should... Yeah, I'll try to help you out. I, uh... There we go. I, uh, I keep running out of ammo. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, no worries. But... Oh, get out of the way. All right. Yeah, I, um... I watched... <laughs> oh, my God. This is gonna be one of those games, huh? Well, hopefully you can get yourself kill. back up. One more. I gotta hit him. I'm gonna get him. Don't kill that guy. Don't nope. kill him. Boosh, got him just off. helping out. Thank you for setting it up. Um, what was I saying? It's um, yeah, I was I was the video I was watching. They were talking about just like the tech that they had at the time. Like people were still wearing body armor. It's this like happened a lot. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. If, if I actually had ammo, I could take these guys out. But right now, I'm just they were wearing uh, body armor. Yeah, well, that's what I heard in the. Oh, jeez, that's what I heard in the video. It's like they were still wearing body armor for a lot of this, just because you know bullets weren't as. I am out of all bullets. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder though, because there were still um, cavalry charges back then. Oh wow. And I wonder if they're gonna add cavalry or some kind of like a cavalry charge as like a bonus or something. Yeah. That would be ridiculous because the trench warfare is super cool. Um. So I don't know. I'm 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 really hopeful for it because um, looking at uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's more of the same. But looking at um, Battlefield, it's something fresh. You mm -hmm. know, something we haven't seen before. That gives me just so much excitement. And I mean, I get pretty hyped about a lot of shooters because I love shooters. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of shooters. It's the one game. You know, uh, game style I'm actually good at <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah the game the game looks good because um, I, I was really hopeful for overwatch I didn't I did well I didn't really have a lot of faith in overwatch until I played the beta yeah and then I played because I never watched anything about it I wanted to avoid it until it got close to release or until I got into the beta and when I finally got into the beta I was like this game is gonna be huge and overwatch is probably gonna last for a very long time um, yeah I hope so so I'm, I'm hoping to finally have another Battlefield. I'm just getting sick of the yearly releases yeah. of games. It, it kills franchises. I mean, looking at Assassin's Creed, there hasn't been a good Assassin's Creed game in a while. Um, looking at um, looking at Call of Duty, it's just more of the same every freaking year. Hopefully one of these days we'll move away from that. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Maybe yeah. they'll realize. I mean, it, the problem is once they stop being profitable is when they'll stop doing it. They're, they're still profitable so yeah and that's the uh, yeah that's the unfortunate thing where it's just like people still buy it i mean and there's still good games it's just it's yeah. it's like a sports game now it just comes out every year yeah and, and, and they don't they don't do enough variation to really make it worthwhile in my opinion yeah that's part of the problem because like i haven't touched a call of duty or a, i'm sorry a, a call of duty game in several renditions <laughs> Yeah, I think um, Modern Warfare 2 or maybe even 1 was the one that I played. And I was like, yep, that was a good game, but... Oh, God. But yeah, my last one, I think, was Black Ops. Um, and that was that was the point where I was just like, no, no, thanks. All right. Thanks. 
Yeah, I was just kind of like, that's where I'm going to draw the line for this mm -hmm. game series. And then Battlefield 4 was pushing it, and if they didn't do something new with Battlefield, um, I was going to... It was going to be end of the line for me on that one, too. But they they, they did it right. Ooh. These are all level 4 guns. I, I do need to take at least one of these. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I need something, anything. Uh, no, feel free to grab whatever. It's like, I don't... My guns are so awful. <laughs> I'm almost level four, so I'll be able to equip one soon. But I'm yeah, take two and replace them when I hit level four. Okay, we're good. I'm almost there too. But yeah, I'm I'm just so fed up with yearlies, and I I, I can't wait to get get into the uh, to more story driven franchises rather than just hey look fun multiplayer give us money. Yeah. So esports league. Oh, oh wow, that guy exploded. Those guys explode. Yeah. You're back? Okay. You're going to blow up again, though. Yep. Well, I don't think I take extra damage while I'm down, so... Got him. Ah! Okay. Uh, thank you much. Okay, something's hitting me. Yeah, I was getting hit, too. I think I think there's guys over here. Well, I have, like, no health. And we're going right into a boss fight instead of doing all of the... Uh, Instead of doing so, all the side quests played, before the boss fight. I played the most recent Assassin's Creed, which is um, Syndicate. The yeah. The one set in in London. And to be fair, it's not a very great game. Really? I mean, it seems to have some interesting points, but like... Whoa, that was a big explosion. Oh, um, I just... Black Flag. I heard Black Flag was incredible. Was, was really good. Um, to be fair, uh, I really enjoyed that. Can you get me at all? I'm gonna uh, try to get cover back here. Um, so Black Flag was a lot of fun. That was the last one that really innovated because they had the um, the, the ship mechanics and all that crap. Yeah, yeah, and so, it looked like they did so many good things with that game. Yeah, and they did, and they just kind of threw it away with um, Unity. Being There's like grenades mess. at your feet. <laughs> and yeah, I'm out of there. <laughs> Because, I mean, seriously, it was a glitch-filled disaster. Um, so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Unity was almost unplayable for a lot of people. Just like the uh, PC port. Oh, God, Boom is here, the little guy. Yeah. Oh, no, he got me. Well. <laughs> Are you down? No, I'm just trying yeah, to... just ignore me. I'll run back. No, you're I'm, good. I'm doing terrible. This is... He's right there. He's throwing grenades. Oh, yeah, God, you're fine. At my feet. I'm fine. You're... Oh, God. Run! Ah! <laughs> almost went down again. You're down again? I'm just, so, I'm just so fed up with yearly franchises, man. They just they suck the soul out of games. Because Assassin's Creed had an overarching story that I... What the heck? Yeah, that, that big cannon is pretty rough. going to um, pan out. Like, they were actually going to... Yeah, is um, that... Did they it. just, like, abandon that story? Yeah, they, they kind of threw it away, and I don't want to give any spoilers, but they threw oh, yeah. it away. Ouch. Sorry. Uh, I can back up if you want, but um, they threw they threw it all away. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting knocked back. Yeah, we're good now. I could not believe that they just kind of threw away an interesting and well formed story just to milk a yearly franchise. Ow. How are we supposed to damage this guy? I'm doing I'm doing okay. Um, I just have to switch my weapons because I accidentally equipped the wrong thing. And now I can't remember what I'm doing. I'm getting blown up. Okay. I think I'm okay now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was close. Little guy's down on the ground. Yeah, I got him. Um, Is there any ammo? I'm down. Man, that guy. <laughs> that little... Oh. Uh, okay. Little prick is what he is. Um, yeah, I, I don't play a ton of games like that, unfortunately. I've been sticking to a lot of indie games lately, which is good but at the same time it's yeah you're gonna have to move if you want me to save you i don't know where to move to i'm dead okay i'm just gonna respawn yeah get i'm dead too uh, i have i have no ammo on uh, anything I, i'm out of ammo too so <laughs> it's a hard fight i don't remember it being this hard well we didn't do any of the side quests <laughs> oh yeah we didn't go left if you go left there's a bunch hey, of side quests of makes this area a lot easier you want to head back melee I guess we could head back. Ha, I got it. Second wind, I killed him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> With melee. Like, use those new weapons. Uh, okay, so now I should be safe here. I just want to equip a gun. You should be able to get back down here. Oh my god, I've got 
all sorts of like crazy customizations I just got. Um, yeah, I'm gonna equip one of these pistols here. Pistol. This gun is so garbage. No more ammo. And it's just cool. infinitely spawning guys, so I can't switch my guns. guns. I'm on my way back now. That's cool. Okay, so pistol goes here. This goes here. And I guess uh, Criterion was working on another um, another uh, need for or not need for speed, but burnout game or something like it. Really? Uh, yeah, and they canceled it to put them on an unnamed Star Wars game. But Ow, burnout's are you so good. Kidding me? There are guys that are spawning now, so yeah, I got him. I'm, up. I'm not. Can like, you crawl over. Yeah, you're safe right here, so you can. Uh... It's a bad, bad gotcha. flesh rip that leaves you screaming. Yeah, the, um, I mean, after seeing, um, Battlefront, I'm mm -hmm. so disappointed in, in EA at the moment. Oh, you lied. I got this guy. Okay. I'm gonna try to just get behind him so he's not shooting at both of us. Got him. Getting cover. Yeah. I'm okay now. I got behind him, so he can't, he can't hit me back here. Um, but, yeah, I just... Yearly releases, man. <laughs> I know. And and with with a license to print money, EA has absolutely no care about Star Wars now, which is a real bummer because it's a great franchise. There's a lot to it, and there's a lot of options there that they just will not do anything with. Yeah. I'm still not happy with what Disney did to Star Wars, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you played that game for a while, but not super long. Which which one? Uh, oh, Battle Battlefront. Yeah. yeah, I played it. Um, I played it in beta, and I was like, "Yeah, there's a lot of things that need to be changed." Um, and I had a lot of really solid OPs down. The the bad guy is on the on the ground. Okay. I'm moving around. I'm, I'm out of I'm out of guns out. again, so I have oh, to good. change. Oh, there's a psycho. I'm alive. Um, but there, yeah, there. It had a lot of promise, but needed a lot of work, and it was beta, so I was like, maybe they've got plans. Maybe they'll get feedback and they'll change it. You know, like mm -hmm. balance wise and stuff. It had some real flaws. It was really rough, so... Oh god. I don't know if I'm even hitting him with this thing. I, gotta, I keep getting crits on him, actually. I have a really high crit chance against this gun. And, uh... Oof. Yeah, they, they just really let me down because um, it's just imbalanced, and with every DLC they add, they, it gets even more imbalanced. And um, it had, oh, what the hell was that? It, was just, <laughs> it had a lot of flaws um, to it that they didn't, they didn't bother to really fix in, from beta to release, hmm. and they're still not fixed. And uh, I, had, I had bought the game because I was like, ah, I can't be that bad. Dropped like 80 bucks on the season pass in the game or something like that. Um, returned it within. Within two, within two hours, because it was just that. Really? He's down. Good job. All right. Yeah. Um, thankfully, EA does have that return policy, um, where you can return things within 24 hours if you don't like it. Oh. Huh. I didn't know that. 24 hours of first launch. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. They they do a pretty good job with that. So, I um I like that that policy, but the game just sucks now. <laughs> They came out with the um, EA Access, the Origin Access on PC, which is like five bucks a month. Yeah. And um, I was I was contemplating maybe looking into that in the future, not right now, but um, in the future because um, you get full access to pretty much you get Battlefront with all of its DLCs, all that stuff. So it's actually pretty cool um, because even Battlefront for what it is is fun. I'll mm -hmm. give it that. It's just not a good. It, it's it's a good, it's a fun game, and it's beautiful. It's just, it's just not a fun Star Wars game. <laughs> if they had made it any other, like, generic sci-fi, I think it would be much more worthwhile. Just my, my two cents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's one of those games that I, I kind of want to do a review on in the future. I know um, it's it's older, but I'm not going to be reviewing when I do reviews in, in my Game Reviews Live thing that I was talking about last time. Um I'm going to do, you know, whatever games I'm playing, I'm going to give reviews on, be it old or new, so, <laughs> because, I mean, people are curious about older games, people will buy them, oh god, there's a lot of bad dudes. Yeah, I thought I got all of them with this stupid turret. Um, <clears throat> out of ammo. Yeah, I'm out of ammo, too. Out of ammo. I got him. Oh, I got him. I'm going to die. I'm down. <laughs> I got no ammo. I got him. 
Nice. Save me. Yeah, I'll get you too. There's a guy behind yeah. me too. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I play indie games, and those can be disappointing at times too. Like I, uh, I don't know a whole lot about Mighty Number no. Nine, but I know that oh, that was but, like heard, universally. Stories, yeah. Which is too wild. bad. Like I, I feel I, I say it's too bad because it's too bad because it just makes Kickstarter look bad and it makes indie devs look bad. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a shell of what they promised, and did, weren't they like super late on everything? And... Yeah, I know that there were several delays, and um, like I don't know, it's just disappointing. It's just too bad. Yeah, that is just too bad. <sighs> I mean, just just by virtue of being an indie, indie game doesn't make it a good game. You know? Yeah. So it's it's one of those things that. That always irked me because I've, I've heard some people go like, some people have told me, you know, oh, indie games are, are the best. Well, why are they the best? That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, just because they're an indie game does not automatically make them good or mm -hmm. have special value. A game is a game is a game. Um, but I personally, whoa, I have the exploding grenade reload. Oh, oh nice. Gun and it blows up. But, um,. To be fair, I, I tend to judge AAA titles more harshly because if they have glaring flaws, there's no excuse. Whereas indie games usually will only have a couple of people behind them. Um, yeah, but that doesn't always mean that there's no excuse either. No, no, but you you have to hold them to a different standard, I think. Like you can't hold them to the, the same standard as you do AAA titles because they've got millions of dollars and thousands of people that work on it, whereas an indie dev may only have a few thousand dollars and maybe like <laughs> five to ten people work on it, or one in your case. Yeah, I was going to so, say, a few thousand dollars is pretty generous. <laughs> yeah, so it's just one of those things that, um, you know, I can see I can see value in the attempt as well. Like, yeah. with, with a game like Unity, which was bug-ridden and all that stuff, that game should never be acceptable like mm -hmm. ever. something like that should never be allowed to ever happen ow what, <laughs> what killed me i think there's some flying guys or no maybe not i'll get ow. you <laughs> um yeah and like those grenades coming in i don't know if it'll okay got it off in time um <clears throat> I know that, like, with Unity and everything else, like, Unity is in the, the platform for making games. It's it's definitely a lot easier and less cost prohibitive, but um, that doesn't mean that it's perfect. Right. Absolutely it's, right. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's it's a oh, whole... Boy. Screw this. It's a I whole am. mess. It is. It is. Uh, it, it's something, man. I, I don't... It's part of the it's part of the dilemma. Like, do you like how how differently should you treat indie games? Because games are games are games. An indie an indie strategy is still a strategy game. So, do you do you treat that like any other strategy game, or do you have to treat it as a completely different kind of view? And that's that's where the question comes in, you know, mm -hmm. where the challenge comes in. It's finding out the best way to to look at a game and be objective while not judging it too harshly because of the vast difference in um, um, <laughs> of value poured into it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm talking out of my ass, though. So. No, that, that's that's what I do almost all the time. <laughs> like, when I, when I talk to my wife and she asks me a question and I just bullshit an answer, and um, then I'm like, I wonder if that's true. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm so that's that fine. Bad freaking luck. I yeah, I, I keep running out of bullets. I yeah, do have I, I have do have my special bullets. ability. I should try using that. But I didn't even pay my point yet. Oops. That's fine. My special That's ability is so broken. Is that a, is that a... It's just a big robot right. that attacks everybody. Eh. Oh. Free health. Now I'm down. That um, but yeah, bullshitting is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to. I try to make a. I try to make a cogent point when I can. Well, yeah, it's hard sometimes, especially when you work in, in IT. You have to BS sometimes. Oh yeah, and especially to people who don't necessarily understand what you're talking about. Yeah, and that's the hard part. Like, um, in 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 a in a prior job, I did instructional design. And um, 
learning how to talk to people who don't know what, you know, what's going on, that's so hard. Like, it's definitely a skill. Hey, my first shield. Yay. That's why you're dying so much. I have a shield. Oh, I don't have a shield yet. Yeah, you didn't no, You I didn't did. turn in that quest that gave you the shield. Oh, I didn't turn in the quest? Oh, yeah, back at, back at home base. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that would explain a couple things. That does explain a lot. Well, I'm sitting here talking. I'm having a good time. <laughs> well, you're better at you're better at concentrating and talking and doing this at the same time. I uh, I'm definitely having a little bit of problems. Okay, so what? Well, it, it comes with it, it come, a little bit of it comes with the territory of streaming all the time. Yeah. You have to get good at holding a conversation while uh, playing a game. I'm, I'm not great at it, but I'm getting there. I've only been doing this for oh god, I've only been doing this for like a year, a year and a half. Yeah, so, I'm so. trying to find where I should put my points into. Uh, uh, I'm getting there. This pistol I found is good. I got two pistols, so if I run out of ammo, I'm doubly screwed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what was I saying? Um, I, I can't remember. Talking about BSing. Yeah. Sniping's fun. Um, Sniping is fun. Where'd you get a sniper rifle? I hate. You. I started with one. You what? might. You might have started with started with one too. No, I started with uh, an assault rifle and two assault rifles. Actually. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It might be part of the whole... I think I pre-ordered this game like a million years ago. And it's just like, you start with the Hyperion basic weapons. So that might be what it was. Oh, yeah, it might be. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I go, going back to the original point, I don't really know much about E3. I, I think that overall it seemed pretty cool. But yep. I don't... Beyond that, like I can't really make any kind of judgment. Like, hopefully things come out that are good. I uh, I was ex I was pretty excited about all the VR stuff that came out, and um, yeah, I I want at some point I'd love to get a Vive or at least try, like one VR. Of things, I've yeah, never one tried of the things VR. That came out during um, the Bethesda one was I think they're putting Fallout Four in VR on the Vive. Oh, so nice. So one of the things that me and the wife talked about was that if. I remember Fallout come out on VR. The Vive is definitely on the table to purchase. Because nice. Playing VR in a Fallout or Skyrim game is probably the most immersive thing in the universe. And huh. I, I'm all about that. That's what I. That's what I want. I want to be so immersed that it's like you are in the game. <laughs> and that that is something that I've, I've just always. Wanted. It really is. Are you dead or? Uh no, I'm just trust. very low on health. Well, I'm. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Famous last words. Yep. I'm out of ammo. Well, we'll find an ammo. Oh, this is a badass guy. That's why. Oh. Oh, this gun takes forever to reload. Um, dead. Dead? Oh, shit. I didn't get to you in time. Nah, it's all good. I'm going to steal your ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I had ammo? <laughs> Apparently. My corpse right. dropped ammo. I had, it, I had it stashed somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, like, VR stuff, I'm super into, but I just don't have the means to try it out. Like, I don't know anybody who has one. And I think knowing somebody who has one is kind of what you need to do right away. Because it's such a big um, investment. Like, you don't want to just Can go... I fast cannon? Yeah, go for it. Right, um, you don't want to just go buy something if you don't know how well it works or if it even works for you. Because I know people have nausea from and, like, right. get vertigo yeah, from get, playing it. From um, stuff like that, so I don't know how I would handle it either. Now, um, interestingly, um, I uh, I have a a buddy who has an Oculus Rift, mm -hmm. and I will never touch the Oculus Rift. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna lie. Really? Uh, Lucky, who who's the CEO, is the most giant tool that you'll ever meet. He's a huge tool bag, and yeah. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I'm not a I'm not a big fan. Like he he said that um, he said that uh, platform. He he first he said that the rather than it being a peripheral, VR is a platform, which mm. is not true because yeah. games most of the games that come out come out on both things. They're not. It's not a platform because it's a PC game still. It's just a PC game with yeah two 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 rendered scenes, right? So the, huh. the peripheral is the, the VR headset. 
So the um, so he drove drove me crazy with that. But add to that, he said that exclusives to certain headsets were a good thing. No. And he's like, and he's like, yeah, fragmentation is great. It's like, who, what? who would, who thinks fragmentation is great except for marketing people and yeah, like accountants? He's, 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 that's why I'm saying he is such a tool, man. He's such a tool, and he drives me nuts. Like it's just not okay. It's not okay. Yeah, and I was actually, um, since the the Steam sale is going on right now, I was looking at Super Hot because I wanted to play that game. Oh, Super Hot's a great game. And that game is getting brutalized in reviews right now because it came out with VR, but it's Oculus only. Oh, really? So it's like their entire page is just full of negative reviews. How much did uh, how much did they get paid for that though? That's yeah, well, yeah, and that's the thing. Like as a dev, sometimes you need well, and that's the thing. like, is that Super considered Hot was selling out? Pretty runaway hit. Though. Yeah, I mean, is that so considered to, to, selling out, though? Like... To go exclusive? To go exclusive, depending on how much money you get paid for it. Here's the thing. With how young VR is, yes, it's selling out, in my view. I mean, if it was a console, it's not that big of a deal, because consoles are established. There's a fan base. They're contributing to the division of um, VR. I mean, they really are, by doing that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think know. that's a bad move. That's all. I mean, it's it's fine to um, it's fine to oh god, <laughs> it's fine to uh, make things exclusive. I think. I mean, to an extent. I just don't think VR. Uh, it's going to be a good thing for VR. No, and I guess the other thing that I'm thinking about in that context is the Vive probably has a lot more. Um, software involved with it because it motion is also part of the yeah. the formula and right. it's possible that maybe it's just too difficult for some devs especially indie devs to have all of those different um circumstances you know right yeah to have to have but you don't have to implement motion controls for it to work with the vibe you can still use a controller with, with oh the vibe. okay yeah it doesn't have to use motion controls oh god that's gonna explode get away from it oh yeah, i'm way back here you have to hit it a couple times before it blows up. I didn't realize it was. You didn't realize that it was a giant propane tank. Well, I, it was green. It lit up green. I assumed <laughs> yeah, that true. it was a good thing. Fair. Um, but overall, I I just think that fragmentation is going to kill it. I mean, look at what happened with Android versus oh. iOS at first. Yeah. Android was so fragmented and messy at the beginning. It's not so bad now. Um, they've actually unified pretty well. I mean, there's still like one-offs and stuff like that. But overall, everything seems to use um, kind of a yeah. base, you know. Like you can, you can, you you know, you're running Jelly Bean or whatever instead of running HTC Android or whatever <laughs> you know, their, their mangled version of Android. Like it was in the beginning. That's why the iPhone took off so well. Yeah, it was a lot easier to handle that stuff. That's for sure. Yes, because they had a unified um, architecture for everything. Whoa. They had one app store. I mean, all the handsets were the same, so they were compatible with each other. Um, easier to transfer your data so, but I mean we're finally getting to a point where Android um, smartphones have trounced the market at this point due to price and um, feature offerings well, yeah and um, the customization which is what iPhone yes. really lacks yes which you have to jailbreak and modify to yeah. be able to customize your phone and customization is actually not that bad of a thing I mean if you have to jailbreak your phone to do it, you risk destabilizing your OS. Oh, yeah. If they put it in the, the OS or make apps that do it, like there's a whole bunch of really cool like launcher and widget apps hmm. out there that do do really cool customization stuff without compromising your OS. So Yeah, I um just trying to keep everything as open as possible it's like ideally that's i i really hate console exclusives just because I, of that but I'm i a big fan overall <laughs> but i i'm okay i'm okay with them um to the extent that it's not going to ruin gaming, right yeah and that's the thing like sometimes it's just really hard to make a console like or a game multiple consoles like available to multiple consoles well, because and, you have to pay for dev kits, yep. and you have to pay for licensing, and um, you got to give them a cut of your game sale and all that stuff. Oh yeah, which is which is fine. I understand that to an extent. Um, I hate console exclusives because um, they just they're not 
they're not very fair because then you have to purchase because the hardware they lose money on they lose money on the hardware yeah. sales and it's like that's why they're trying to rectify it with the newer methodology like the new um what is it the playstation scorpio and the oh, xbox yeah. whatever it is 1.5 um, yeah where it's like a um a, a, upgradable version sorry um an upgradable version of that console which just makes it a pc yeah and though so, yeah and how much are you going to spend over the life of this thing where you should probably in all honesty just straight up buy a pc and save yourself money over the long haul i don't know i i'm just like so confused about that kind of that kind of style oops i hit i hit f where are the bad guys give me something to kill uh, there are no bad guys. We're no, up. porque. Well, we're gonna get to a boss fight in like ten seconds. I wasted my ultimate thingy. Oh, That's okay, fine. No. There's like an. There, I think there's a shop up here, so we can friggin' buy ammo finally. Yay! Um, Ammunition. But yeah, <sighs> I I don't know. I I love I love games and I love playing games, but there's so much just BS around. A lot of it sometimes. <sighs> I'm with you, and um, I mean, looking at games like Uncharted and things like that, that game could have been out on PC and would have done even better. I mean, it's a super fun. This is a boss fight, by the way, if you didn't um, know. All right, cool, thanks. It's a super fun exploration game. That actually, you know, uh, it's it's kind of a competitor to Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider has always been on PC. Yeah. And it's like, why would you avoid that space completely when your direct competitor? Something that I think Uncharted, at the time it came out in 2007, Tomb Raider was crap. It was total <laughs> BS. And I, I go into that in my um, my review of it. That's what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I just for the time, Uncharted trounced the crap out of it. And they knew it. So it was like, if they had released that on PC, they would have made a killing. <laughs> people, were, people are still jonesing for for good adventure games like that, you know, exploration and puzzles and ah Oh yeah, fire, I forgot about that. Yep, ow, that burns. Yeah. Stop drop and roll, stop drop and roll. So I am just kind of I'm I'm over exclusives overall. I wish they would kinda of go away. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, a lot of games are PC exclusive too, so a lot of indie games especially. If you think about it. Gosh, I'm on fire again. Yeah, I'm having some problems. <laughs> I'm just gonna focus on Flint, I guess. I'm working on this psycho guy. Oh, okay, he does some AoE stuff. Oh, does he? Awesome. This this gun has like a clip of three shots. Ow! What God, that hell? is a He's huge the range. Crap out of me, yo! I'm down. What the hell? I'll come I don't even know what got you. me. It has a massive range. You, you okay? Okay. I'll get you, and then I'll get him. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting shot at by something. Ooh yeah. Uh, yeah. Console console exclusives are overall bad for the industry. What is that? Uh, it's a pistol. You can have it if you want. I don't care. No, it's actually worse than my current pistol. You want to pick it oh. up? No, my inventory's full. Oh, okay. Mine's probably full too. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really been paying attention to that. No, I've just been I've just been BS, and I'm surprised we beat the boss as easily as we did. To be honest with you. Yeah, well, that's why the Mechromancer's power is so broken. Because it has a ton of armor, it um, takes aggro, it does crazy damage, and it's mobile. So if you're ever downed, you just you just pop that, and then you get back up because there's always guys around. You know what game I'm, sh I'm sad got the short end of the stick? Hmm. Battleborn. Yeah, you know... It, um, people unfortunately people were comparing it to overwatch too heavily yeah exactly and it's nothing they're nothing alike and that's I mean, more of a moba things, right it's closer to a moba in the pvp sense but other than that it's a it's an it's a co cooperative pve game really you play it with your friends and do like missions and stuff and really? it's fun as hell it's a really solid fun game i mean it has i should look into it game doesn't yeah and it's one of those games that um it, it is like almost it's pretty much dead already and it just came out and it's by the people it's who made this game yeah it's yeah it's by gearbox um, and it sucks because people were just like oh it's it's overwatch it's overwatch no it's not overwatch they're nothing alike there's a whole bunch of weapons here yeah bunch of i don't need 
pistols, though. Pistolas. Yeah, I don't have space for pistols, and I don't really am paying attention to my money. <laughs> I'll go ahead and grab this one. You grab what you want. <laughs> but, oh, it's a grenade when you throw it. Kaboosh! <clears throat> So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty bummed out over it because it's it's a cool game and sadly oh no I jumped my death thing. Nope. Uh, I don't know how do I get up here I don't know what you do down there aside from fall to your death <laughs> oh there's a ladder behind you dude Is there? oh ladder hooray <clears throat> why would they put that there <laughs> I don't know. So, Battleborn is a silent victim in this, because, to be perfectly honest, it's not that bad of a game. No, and Gearbox makes good games, overall. Like, I, I don't think I've played one that's really been bad. Nah, and it's just, I, I get kind of tired of the, um... Travel cancelled. I get tired a little bit of the, um, the style, oh, like the sorry, Borderlands yeah. style, the cel-shaded kind of, um, setup. But, yeah. overall, I think... Um, it's a pretty solid game, and it's fun, and I, I feel like it's just, it's unfortunate that it's Hooray! its legit been killed by Overwatch before it even got a chance. So, um, we're at 50 minutes. Do you want to... Yeah, we can cut it. I mean, this is a good spot. Yeah, we, we got, we actually did okay. I'm surprised. Yeah, we, we did. Much, we did. I mean, for just sticking around and running around and stuff, and... I'm impressed. Yeah, I uh, I am too. I, I wish I could uh, both talk and play the game at the same time, but apparently I have issues with that. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Um, so maybe next time we'll have some, uh, some friends join us. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the overall plan for this is we're going to um, just kind of show this to a couple of our streaming friends and YouTube buddies and try to get like one or two other people on here so we can have a more... Uh, robust conversation with a, a couple different viewpoints and um, I don't know beyond that just kind of just hanging out for a while and playing a game and um, yeah. it doesn't always have to be the same game either like I know oh, no. we can just play the same game like Binding of Isaac and just hang out and do that too or oh, Enter the sure. Gungeon um, sure. because I still dig both of those games pretty hard um, and I, I know Magicka has a, like a four player limit or something too yeah, so if, if you're watching and you uh, you enjoyed, please make sure that you let us know if you have a game suggestion, um, and we will check it out, because we're always looking for fun co-op games to play, especially if it supports four people, but, um, you know, we may revisit some of these games with with friends and such. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to check us out, you can find me on YouTube. Uh, if you just go, the easiest way to do this is find me on Twitch. <laughs> twitch.tv slash insertcointheater all one word and uh, the YouTube link is in the panels or you can go to insertcointheater.com and there's a link to the YouTube on that page uh, in the top right as of this recording but it'll be in the, the very bottom later on yep and I'll, I'll include um, Tim's YouTube channel in the description for this video and I'm sure Tim will do the same for me if and, he's and a, yeah, if he's a kind and generous person know, he will of course, of um, course but if you wanted to find me anywhere else online um, it is Ben underscore Burns, and that's B-U-R-N-E-S, and that is for Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and um, Patreon. Um, and I, I'm very lucky that YouTube finally fixed its problem with uh, the short names, because before it was like Ben Burns, or it was plus Ben Burns, or it was like slash C slash Ben Burns. It's been like four or five different things. And um, I think today YouTube finally figured its stuff out and allows special characters like underscore, the elusive underscore. Ooh, I need to get um, you to show me how to get a good short name because I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, I'll show you <laughs> right, um, cool. if it's not taken. But <laughs> but yeah, yeah so I'll come up with something if it is. Yeah, if, if you if you want to find me anywhere, it's just Ben underscore Burns, B-U-R-N-E-S. And uh, I do uh, music production primarily, but I want to do more game stuff because I like playing games and. The only way I can justify playing games now is if it's like on stream or so doing something quote unquote productive with it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Otherwise, right. yeah, we're, I think we're gonna do this again next week and just kind of parse these out over over the week. So we'll we'll uh, be releasing these across the week and. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and it was so a, it was a good time. Thanks, man. It was good. So I'll see everybody later, and uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. You. Bye.